Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is something a little different for me. I am usually in a full face of makeup, but today I'm gonna to show you a quick, easy, no nonsense, heat proof, sweat proof makeup tutorial. The trick is to use a lot of cream products, and a lot of products have multi-uses. So it's really simple, it's really easy. You look polished, you don't look too overdone, and there's some SPF protection in there. So it's totally good for the beach, for a day at a theme park, at a sporting event, whatever you are getting up to this summer, and it's using a few products, mostly your hands to apply things, and it's really so easy. So I really hope you enjoy it, and if you want to see exactly how I got this look, then just keep watching. Thanks! Okay, so to start the tutorial, I'm going to use a lip balm. This is the Dior Creme de Rose lip balm. I'm almost out of it. I love this stuff so, so much. We're just going to put that on and let it absorb while we do the rest of our makeup. To prime the face so that it lasts all day through hot weather, through sweat, through whatever you're doing in the summer days, I'm going to use the Arbonne Makeup Primer. This stuff is so lovely. I just use a little bit and has a really beautiful silky texture. I just rub this all over my face with my fingers and it just gives you a nice even base for makeup, makes your skin feel silky smooth and just kind of blurs all these lines and imperfections and gives you a perfect base and it'll make your makeup last a lot longer. Next step is my new favorite summer obsession and this is the Benefit Bigger Than BB Big Easy Liquid to Powder Oil Free Multi Balancing Complexion Perfector. That's a mouthful but I like this because it is SPF 35. It has really good coverage and it still feels really really light and it's so easy to apply with your fingers and you just look effortless. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that on my fingers, rub my fingers together and just start in the center of my face where I need the most coverage and blend outwards. Now I also use this with a brush. It definitely will give you a fuller coverage with a brush but for an easy quick summer makeup tutorial where you don't want too much fuss, fingers work just as well. So that's one layer. Looks pretty good. I'm just gonna go in again back in the center of my face and add a little bit more. So that's pretty much all you need as a base in the summer, something with SPF, something to give you a little bit of coverage. This has a beautiful finish that keeps you matte all day and it really has a liquid to powder feel so it's definitely dry to the touch already. So loving that. Next we're going to conceal. You can skip this part if you think it's too much fuss but I feel like I need it. So I use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Vanilla. I love this stuff. It's perfect for under the eyes, perfect for blemishes, highlighting, really everything. So I'm just going to put a little bit under my eyes. Not that much. I got a little mosquito bite thing up there. I'm just going to put a little bit around my nose and then just cover a few of these little horrendous spots. <laughs> this concealer will not crease. It really does just last all day. You can kind of leave it on and forget about it and really not worry. So we will just do that. Then taking my Real Techniques setting brush, I'm just going to blend that in just like so. This brush is really nice because it's synthetic so it doesn't pick up too much of the product and just kind of blends it out really quick and easy and leaves you with a good coverage so quick and it's tiny so you can travel with it can travel with you wherever you go there we are don't mind my little spots okay so there's our base done next step I'm gonna go in with my well love look at the packaging on this it's like completely falling apart. This is NARS Matte Multiple in Altai. I sometimes use this as contour, but today I'm going to be using it as a bronzer just to warm up the face. So I just kind of put this on and we're going to look like Xena the Warrior Princess here. So that's all I do. You can blend that out with your fingers, but I like to use a brush just because, I don't know, I don't like to get my hands that dirty. So I just blend this out onto my cheeks, kind of into the hollows, but again, like I said, I'm using this more as a bronzer than a contour. So I just want to bring some color back to my face. Ooh, that's a nice little curl. So that if you're going to the beach or you're, you know, spending some time outside, you look nice and sun-kissed, especially for 
the pale people. Okay, so that's kind of the base of the bronzer. So it just looks natural, kind of you want to put it where the sun would naturally hit you. Put some down your nose. So on the tops of your cheeks, on your forehead, that's kind of where you want that. Next, going in with some blush. So in the summer, I like to use cream products. So the cream bronzer and cream blush because cream products tend to be a bit more water resistant and if you sweat they can kind of stay on a bit longer. So I like the Josie Marin Argan Infinity Lip and Cheek Creamy Oil. So this is their Argan Oil but in a colorful blush and this is in Limitless Pink. It has a really oily texture so it makes you look really dewy and natural and glowy and I just put a little on the back of my hand Okay, and then with my Real Technique stippling brush, you just kind of pick up that product a little bit on the back of your hand and work it into the brush, and then you just kind of stipple it on to your cheeks. And it smells really, really good. I wouldn't recommend using this um, blush when you have like a full coverage foundation on, because since it does have an oily texture, it does kind of take off a little bit of the foundation just a little bit you wouldn't really notice but it's perfect with BB cream and perfect for a summer look so it just makes you look natural but again brings color and glowiness to your cheeks and just makes you look a little bit more alive okay and then to set all that, what brush am I going to use? I'm going to use this one. This is a Real Techniques blush brush, okay? And we're going to go in with Too Faced Pink Leopard. It's called a blushing bronzer. And I love this because it looks like this. So it's like a light pink blush with a kind of pinky rose bronze and then the dark bronze. So you swirl your brush all around in it and you kind of have a bronzy pink summer glow. So it's kind of a one-stop shop blush, bronzer, highlighter, all in one. So I just swirl my brush around there, tap it off, and you just kind of set the blush and the bronzer that we just put on. So why it's good to go in with a cream and then a powder is again, you're just gonna make sure it lasts all day. So it's very natural, just kind of gives you a subtle glow. I really like this blush, especially in the summer. Cause it's no fuss. Okay, moving right along, brows. You can totally skip this part. Um, the Anastasia Dip Brow is waterproof. I don't have that, so this may come off if you went into a pool. But I love the Anastasia Brow Wiz, and I always have to do my brows, even if it's just a little bit. So I just brush through them with the spoolie, and then on the other end is the tiniest little brush, and it's really waxy. I said brush, I meant product a pen pencil is the right word tiniest little pencil and I'm just gonna brush little strokes like that and then kind of take it underneath and over top and this pencil is really hard and waxy so it distributes a little bit amount of product so you really just do tiny little strokes and it really looks like your natural hairs again to the other one Nice and quick and easy. I'm not doing a full brow. I just want a little bit more definition since this is just a quick and easy summer look. But I gotta have it done. Now to make them a little bit more waterproof and heat resistant, I'm going in with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Okay, so I just, it looks like this, like a little mascara wand. And I just run that over top of my brows. And then I'll just make sure that they stay put and I have really long eyebrow hair and they kind of stick up so those will keep them down. Moving right along to eyes, keeping it simple but again, I need a little pizzazz in my day even if it's a no makeup summery look. So I love the Makeup Forever Aquamatic pencils. These are waterproof so they're really perfect for summer. They say waterproof, glide on eyeshadow so I'm sure you could go swimming with this. I have the color... ME50, they should have names. It's just like a pencil like this, you can kind of see that, and you just roll it up, and all you do is rub it onto your eyelid. You wanna do one eye at a time, because these do set really quickly, because they are waterproof, so I just run it over my eyelid, shoo, 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 
And it's as simple as that. And you smudge it out. Other eyelid. It can be messy. We just want this little bit of color. It's kind of like a shimmery brown taupe. And you kind of put a little bit more along the lash line. Blend, blend, blend with your finger. That easy. I take it underneath the lash line. And it's so simple. Just like that. Perfect. Eyes are done. Easy. Next, we are going to tight line. Now this part is optional. I just love it. It makes my lashes look a lot fuller and looks like we're not wearing eyeliner. So I'm just going to take the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Pencil in Crave. It's just a really dark matte brown. And I just line my upper lash line. So this, again, will just give your eyelashes the look that they, so you can tell the difference already. They will just look fuller and look like they are lined and more defined and they will also look darker. And who doesn't want that? But again, this step is optional. If it is too much makeup for you, skip it. Next, we are going to curl the lashes because I can't go a day without doing that. So whatever eyelash curler you want, I just do a couple little pumps like so. That's it. That's all you need. Next side. Perfect. Of course, you're going to want to use a waterproof mascara. The only one that I have currently is the L'Oreal Voluminous Miss Manga. Looks like this. It is waterproof. It's a pretty good mascara. I like it for easy summer days, kind of like today. It has a really weird flexible brush. So just apply that liberally. Okay, so the mascara is done. You can put more or less, whatever you feel. Now, just for a little more definition, this kind of matches the cream eyeshadow we just put on. This is 24-7 Glide On Pencil by Urban Decay in Hustle. It's just a taupey brown. You can skip this part, but I love these eyeliners. They really last a long time. And I'm just going to put this down in my lower lash line and waterline. Just like so, kind of smokes out the look a little bit. And then can't forget mascara on the bottom lashes. Just like so, done. Now the good thing about this Josie Marin Lip and Cheek Oil is you can use it on your lips. So I just put a little bit on my finger. And it's so moisturizing and nice on the lips and it just gives you a tiny little bit of color. Like so. All right, so now we are just going to set everything with a translucent powder, just in the T-zone. I get really oily throughout the summer, so I just like to set my T-zone with a translucent powder that's not too heavy, not too cakey. This is the Laura Mercier translucent powder. So I just use the tiniest little bit. Just swish it around in the cap and just push it. with a big fluffy brush into my T-zone. I just kind of set everything, whatever's left on the brush, just put that all around. One more thing, if you want a little more pizzazz, I love this Arbon Gloss in Posh. It's not sticky, it's really smooth, it's really light and shimmery, it's not gritty. I just really, really like it for summer because it's nice and light. Just to add a little more glossiness. And then the finishing touch, is Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. You've got to have this in your life in the summer. I just take a bath in this, so completely spray your face. Oh, feels so good. Let it soak up. You can keep this in your beach bag, in your purse. They come with little travel sizes if you want. Just spray it over your face throughout the day. It'll refresh you, it'll reset your makeup, and everything will look amazing. So, I hope you like this tutorial. It's a lot less makeup than I normally wear, but it's perfect for a beach day or a summer day where you want a no fuss, easy, quick routine. And I really hope you like it. Give it this video a thumbs up and please subscribe. I am now at 200 subscribers and I thank you guys so much for subscribing. It means so much to me. And leave some comments down below about your summer must-have essential. Thanks for watching. Bye.